It is in this supermarket that at least some of the attackers are now believed to be holed up. Tonight, new footage emerged of the moment the attack began. In the panic that followed, hundreds ran for their lives as gunmen threw grenades and sprayed the complex with machine gun fire. Kenyan forces then entered the building trying to flush out the militants. As they secured different areas, others were able to escape. But still, it isn't over. A number of foreign countries, including Britain, have been assisting the Kenyans in this most delicate of situations, a hostage crisis. Outside the shopping centre, anxious relatives have gathered in the hope of some news, any news, of loved ones still trapped inside. The Kenyan government says its forces have the attackers pinned down inside the shopping centre that's just the other side of these gates here, and they have had for some hours now. But the trouble is they don't know exactly how many gunmen there are, and they also don't know how many other people may still be trapped inside. As they wait for a resolution to this crisis, many Kenyans have been giving blood to help the wounded and perhaps in anticipation of worse still to come. They shall not get away with their despicable and beastly acts, like the cowardly perpetrators now cornered in the building. We will punish the masterminds swiftly and indeed very painfully. As the security forces continue their operations inside the mall, Kenya's soldiers are on the ground in Somalia. They're battling al-Shabaab, the al-Qaeda-linked group that says it carried out this attack. Now the militants have struck back hard, bringing the fight to the heart of the Kenyan capital. Gabriel Gatehouse, BBC News, in Nairobi.